I just launched a brand new feature for my app that I thought was gonna take only one week, but ended up taking three weeks to actually launch. So come and build an app with me, I think day number three, where I talk about some of the difficulties that I faced while building this brand new feature. For those of you that are new here, I'm building an app called perfectinterview.ai, and it's essentially a bundle of tools that is an end-to-end -end solution for everything you need to help land a job and make money, get a bag, you know? So the brand new feature that I launched was Yap to Resume. You can find it at yaptoresume.com actually. And it's a brand new feature to help you build out a resume by just chatting with it with natural voice. Using your actual voice, we transcribe it. There's a whole chat experience where you talk to our AI assistant about your previous work experience. You can make edits to a resume that we generate for you all with a natural chat experience with typing or also using your voice. I was able to get the basic functioning, like build a resume based off of chatting or edit your resume based off of chatting pretty quickly within one week. So I got 80% of the features done within the first week, but then the last 20% of the feature has always the hardest part to build. It's the part where you have to deal with the edge cases of an actual human trying to use your code. Building out better error handling to make sure something really bad does happen, the user doesn't lose out all the information and they're able to retry the request again really easily. Stuff like rate limiting to make sure that no bad actors come in and try to destroy your application. And actually the part that took me the longest to build out was a new feature education tool. Figuring out how to help users discover this new feature and also help them figure out how to use the feature a lot more. So I actually ended up creating a dedicated demo experience for the resume building tool. And not gonna lie, that was kind of a pain. I thought in my head, you would think, oh, I already have the actual functioning resume builder. I can just copy and paste it to make a demo experience, but it doesn't really work that way because with any demo experience, you wanna make sure that you get really high quality experience throughout the whole process. So you kind of have to strip it down into a very structured, very sandbox like environment to make sure that they cannot mess it up at all and that they're guaranteed to get really, really good results. So building out a feature is not just about making a certain part of the feature work. It's always the hardest part is always the last 20% to make it an actually really good feature, make it robust, making sure it doesn't break and making sure the user can go throughout using your application and have a good experience learning how to use it and seeing how good it is and what the benefits are. But after finally, after three weeks of working on this feature, it is finally out. So check it out at yaptoresume.com if you're interested.